Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for driverguide.com. Today I'll be showing you how to download and install a driver from the driverguide.com website and I'll be installing this on a Windows 10 operating system. Now typically there's a couple different types of files that you can download uh, when it comes to drivers. You might find an INF file or in some cases you might find an executable or exe file. Now on this video I'll be showing you how to install an exe file. Now let me show you the issue that I'm having with this particular computer. If I go to my device manager, which in Windows 10, you can locate that by right clicking the start button and select device manager. Now I know that on this particular system, I have a Realtek audio device. However, in device manager, if I go down to the sound controllers section, the Realtek device does not show up here. So what I need to do is install the drivers that are needed in order to correct that. So let me just minimize this for now. Let me open up my Microsoft Edge browser and I've already searched for and found the driver that I want from driverguide.com. It's a Realtek audio device and I'm here on the download page. I'm going to click the green download now button. Okay, now it tells me the download is finished, so I'm going to go ahead and click on run. So the file I downloaded was an exe file, and when I clicked the run button, it automatically launched that executable file and started up the, uh, the installation wizard. screen here I'm going to click next okay now the installation has completed and it's asking me to uh, restart my computer now I'm going to go ahead and just say no to this for now and click finish Let's go ahead and take a look at the device manager to see if anything has changed in there. I'm going to expand the uh, sound controller section. And there you see now we have an additional device that's just been added. Uh, and it does say that it's a Realtek high, de high definition audio device. So my drivers were successfully installed and it updated uh, my device manager. And I now have the properly installed driver that I need for that device. And that concludes this tutorial. Be sure to check back later for more video tutorials for driverguide.com.